steps. All combatant units except officers and aircraft have three steps. These steps will decrease as they take casualties. Losing steps will affect both the platoon's morale and its fire factor. Once a unit loses a third step, the unit will be removed off the board. Stacking. In a given hexagon, you may stack up to nine steps of the same side along with an unlimited number of officers. For this purpose, bear in mind that a unit that hasn't suffered any casualties has three steps. Markers. The game includes a set of markers that will help us to track what's happening in the battlefield. Here you may see some of those markers. Details on the use of these may be found in the standard rules manual. Spotting. A platoon may see everything that is located in its line of sight. However, in order for a platoon to be able to see enemy units, in addition to the line of sight, we need to check the spotting range. This spotting range will determine whether a unit will be able to localize and to identify an enemy unit. This range is affected by the size of the unit and by the type of terrain where the unit is located. The spotting chart determines the maximum range of which a platoon may be spotted by another and depends on the size of such unit. Line of sight. As already stated, in order for a unit to be able to see a target, in addition to the maximum spotting range, a unit must be able to trace an imaginary line without any interruption. Line of sight in flat ground. Forests, light forests, scattered buildings, urban areas, and hills block line of sight. There are additional situations in which the line of sight is blocked. Please refer to the manual. Line of sight and slopes. In this situation, both hexes are situated at a different height. In this example, units are able to see each other. The small box in the upper right corner denotes a small infantry AT unit. These two markers are both in open fields and in accordance with the spotting chart, one is able to see the other at a maximum range of seven hexes if the target didn't move or up to 10 hexes if it moved. Example two, the American unit is located on a crest one level above the German unit. The German unit is located on an open field at a range of six hexes of the American unit and it already moved. IAW the spotting chart, the German unit, once it moved, will be spotted at a range of maximum 10 hexes. However, and since the American unit has a favorable position, i.e. it's one level above the target, the maximum distance to spotting the German unit will increase by one hex. Therefore, the spotting distance in this specific example will be 11 hexes rather than 10.